Oh, Lord, did the cat mess that up? <laughs> First, I thought it was a relay. But anyway, when I tapped the relay, anyway, the ears wanted to act a little bit stupid, so I put a 30 amp relay in here, use one that I had. Now, just disregard the other video, I done deleted it. Um, the wiring was incorrect. Now it is correct, because what I noticed with the way I had it before is that <laughs> no matter which side it was on, it's still red. Okay, when one side should have been infinity. All right, so here we are. We are in the low power radio side. Plus this is easier to show. Now, in the last video that I deleted, I had the jumper from here to here, and I had this wire coming from the SO239 I had it going down to here with the other one. Wrong. This one goes to the center pin. And so 239 goes to the center pin. This one the output one output SO239 goes to the bottom pin okay on the relay now that's what the relay down okay and on this side you have to take from the output SO239 you have to run the wire to the top here where the ears are because here and here is continuity so this way you have continuity here for the ears when the relays click too okay so I know I had these all together right here which was totally wrong um, there's nothing on this one and The only thing that's on this one is where it's jumped over. But what's going to happen is that when the relay clicks, this one and this one are going to make contact. Right now, there is no contact. This is just a pin alone. So you need this to still have the ears. Okay, so I have separated the wires, just so you can see, nothing on this one, only thing going, this one here, to the SO239 here, when the relay is contacted, and you need this there also just so it'll have ears. Now, all right. So, let's read the readings now. Let me turn on my rig expert. Okay, right now we have 1.23 at 48 ohms, which is fine. Now when I click it so the relay goes down, it should go infinity. Infinity. Okay. Relay not engaged. I added some capacitance to this one here also. Um Yeah. So this one is going to read infinity now. I'm going to change this over to the other side. I don't know what I was thinking in the other one. Um, 
So now it reads infinity. Now I'm going to click the relay. 47.9 ohms, almost 48 ohms, which is good, and 1.2 something. Now I am going to take time to and subtract some capacitance there uh, for the pass through but really the pass through is fine at that nothing wrong with that at all jumper length would make a big difference if I probably went to a three foot jumper it might be low so I may just not mess with it at all but okay relay unclick relays on blue LED shining Relay just is not engaged. Now I have infinity engaged. Not engaged. Alright. So there are no readings between the two now. Um so that's the way it's done. <laughs> Sorry about that last video. Y'all just disregard that. Now, even if you use a 10 amp relay, it's going to be the very same thing. There's still three pins, three pins, it's a double throw, double pole, double throw. Um, so, it's going to be the same thing here if you use a 10 amp. So, SO239, the wire runs to the center pin here. That's from one of the radio sides. Or it could be the other way around. You can put your radio here and this would be the antenna switch. You put your radio there and this would be the antenna switch box. Uh, but this is the way it's got to be. So, that goes to the center pin. You have to take a jumper and jump from here where these two are jump to the bottom pin. So you have ears. This one already has ears. These two make contact. Um, so the one coming from the single SO239 over here goes to the bottom pin. Bottom pin with the jumper. Okay. Now, for this one, without the relay engaged, it is coming from the single SO239. It goes straight to the top. Because you have to have it here to have ears. Nothing on the center one. Nothing at all. And this SO239 runs to the bottom pin. Okay, so I deleted the other video. That mess was retarded. <laughs> yeah, I should have had infinity when the relay is unclicked. When the relay is unclicked, one side should have continuity and the other side should have infinity. When the relay is clicked, then one, the other one should have infi uh, continuity and this one should have... Uh, should be an infinity. Alright, so nothing's making contact with anything else now. So I just wanted to clear that up. 10 ohm relay be the same thing. Jumper from here to the bottom. That's so 239 here here we'll go to the center pin on this side oh yeah 
Go to the center pin on this side. And one. Okay, so we already have that jump and we're done with that. And then on this side, from the single SO239, the wire will go, would go to the top. Nothing in the center. And the bottom pin will be to from this SO239 to the bottom pin. And you're golden. <laughs> oh, Lord. I done texted my boy Woody and said, Hey, man, look at how, how I built that switch box. <laughs> Don't build it like that. Build it like this. <laughs> oh, Lord, I had a Louie moment. <laughs> I'll get you all later. 73s. We're going to get it done. Put my radios up here. Got them out of the way. Put my Striker 955 over here. And, uh, because I don't use that radio for testing anyway, it's going to be over here. Uh, it's going to be my high power radio 99B2 and of course my trusty 949. 73s, y'all. Have any questions? Don't hesitate to text me. And, uh, and, uh, maybe I, maybe I draw something out and take a picture of it. All right. Catch y'all later. 73s. Alley Cat with a Louie moment. Fat cat amps, and I'm gone.